Nets. Deadman dishes to Oladipo. The feed to Deadman. And to Oladipo. Kicks it to Napier. Five to shoot. On the court for Atlanta. Mills have a power forward with Horford at center. But Cobra out there with Tim Hardaway Jr. And it's Cephalosha in at the three spot. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. The Cobra in the last game against the Celtics really lit up the floor. He finished with 31 points, and there didn't seem to be much you could do to stop it. Shooting efficiently from both the field and the foul line. It was just a great outing for him, and nobody could slow him down. Something we're seeing consistently now, Kevin. All right, Doris. Thank you. He played at a level that very few players are capable of playing. And, and, you know, I'll be interested to see how much he's got left in the tank. I mean, that performance had to take a lot out of him. Something yeah, but you know what? Sometimes supreme confidence can increase your stamina and endurance. So I'll be interested to see how that affects his play. Here's Napier. Outside Gordon. Dishes it to Devin, and he gets it to go. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. Back to Orphan. And there's the pass to the goal. He'll step up top. He passes to Hardaway. Misses the three. The Magic trail by four. Gordon inside. Guarded by Hardaway. Paper kicks to Nicholson. On the wing, Gordon. Six on the shot clock. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Kept alive. Deadman's shot is off. The Hawks leading by four. Hardaway passes to the Cobra. Back to Hardaway. Here's the Cobra, defended by Gordon. Feeds it to Millsap. A good finish at the rack off the split feed. Well, it was a defensive issue for the Magic. They had trouble stopping opponents last season, guys. I mean, didn't really challenge anything at their own rim. And that's really what made it tough for them. Orlando's gone four or six from outside the arc tonight. Millsap with a double team. Naper kicks to Oladipo. On the wing, Harris passes it to Vucevic. Five on the clock, and it's Harris off the drive. Oladipo outside, and he gets it to go. Oladipo's got four this quarter. For the Magic, it's never a good sign to lead the league in getting dunked on. Last year, that happened. They had that dubious honor, unfortunately. You know, and, and in general, Kevin, I mean, the Magic were just poor on defense. I mean, they couldn't stop the three. Second worst mark in the league at defending it. And overall, the third worst field goal percentage against. So you know where their priorities were this past offseason. Corver, good. The Magic trailed by six. He feeds it to Oladipo. Vucevic setting the pick for Oladipo. Pick by Vucevic. Oladipo dishes to Gordon. Pass to Harris. Gives him the lead pass. And that one's good. Napier's got six. Well, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket until the defense makes an adjustment. There's the pick. Corver passes to the Cobra. Into Millsap. Magic have gone 6 of 9 in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. Good. Nice play there from Napier. Now, just a two-point Hawks lead. 
and the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Sevaloja passes to the Cobra. And that one's good. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. He kicks to Napier. That's good. Took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. Atlanta's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Cephalosia kicks to Millsap. Puts up the baby hook. And too long on the shot. The Magic have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. Oladipo dishes to Harris. Puts one up from 19. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his third rebound on the night. Here's the Cobra. He's got eight. A three. And he gets it to go. The Cobra's got 11 points. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard that this guy is unbelievable? That's a layup for him. There's the dish to Oladipo. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Hawks leading by five. Here's the Cobra. 11 points in the game. And here's Corver from the arc. The offensive rebound. Another shot. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. You know what else, guys? He instigates so many of their fast breaks just because of how quick and accurate he is with his outlet pass. That's another one of his real nice talents. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle sticks for the Hawks? You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And it doesn't look like they'll be giving up on any plays tonight either. Their offensive rebounding has also been equally as impressive. And Al Horford drops them both. Yeah, and Al Horford really has become one of those elite two-way big men. And, and that's very rare. You look at most bigs in the NBA, they excel at either one end or the other. But this is one of those guys that does it all. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. And Horford at 6'10", a natural power forward who's been pressed into duty at the center spot, but he holds his own on the low block. He also does a really good job, Kevin, moving his feet and covering in space, covering the pick and roll. He's, he's outstanding in that regard, which is important in today's game. He's got mobility and a high IQ. The Magic trail by nine. Gordon. What, Kevin? They'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out? Almost like the one-two punch. Atlanta's gone two of four two from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Back to Corver. Shoots the three. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Gordon's got his third rebound tonight. Following this game, they hit the road. They'll take on the Knicks in New York. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And, Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. And it's Corver off the drive. Here's Millsap, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Millsap's got his third basket of the night. Oh, how about the floater there? Nice drop. Oladipo against Corver. Here's the double team with Corver. Napier kicks to Harris. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Here's Cephalosha. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And now it's a nine-point Atlanta lead. Orlando's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. For the finish. And the dunk by Horford. 
Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play this has to build to momentum. And surprisingly, a firm throwdown. And that's a little bit out of character, Kevin. It is, Greg. You're right. He's got plenty of size to attack the basket, but Clark rarely does. Well, he certainly attacked it that time, Kevin. I mean, that's what they want to see more from him. Another miss by Orlando. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. 15 seconds left in the first half. They set the screen. Just five on the clock. This one for three. Cannot hit. Not good shot selection. Long range and a defender all up in your jersey. And you know, that's just the kind of defensive work he's known for. I mean, he can take that shot away from you and does it more times than not. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. It's Atlanta. They lead by 13. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.